Pepper and her friends are at Playgroup. Hab Spaß, mein kleines Lama. Das werde ich bestimmt. Ich freue mich so sehr auf mein erstes Mal im Kindergarten. What is that little girl saying to her mummy? Auf Wiedersehen. Hello there. Oh, hello. <laughs> Good morning, children. Good morning, Madame Gazelle. Today we have a new pupil joining us. Her name is Lottie Lama. Hello, everyone. Hello, Lottie. Please make Lottie feel welcome. Yes, yes we, we will. will. Hello, Lottie. I'm Peppa Pig. <coughs> Hello again. You were talking funny with your mummy. I was talking German. Can you do some more German talking? What shall I say? Say, hello, I'm Lottie. Hallo, ich bin Lottie. Wow! Do you talk German a lot? Mostly with my mama. She comes from Germany. Ooh. How do you say, I like carrots? Ich mag Karotten. <laughs> How do you say... Please open the window. Bitte mach das Fenster auf. Bitte mach das Fenster auf. Yes, that's right. Watch this. Madame Gazelle? Yes, Pedro? Bitte mach das Fenster auf. Of course. Oh, how did you know what I was saying? Because I can speak German. Ooh. If you learn languages, you can talk to all the people of the world. Say something then. Ciao, bambini. That is hello, children, in Italian. Wow. wow. Do another one. Ciao, Pagno. Niemand hao. That is hello, children, in Chinese. Do it again. Oi, meninos. That is hello, children, in Portuguese. Madam Gazelle can speak all the languages of the world. Madame Gazelle, can we learn all the languages? Of course. But let's start today with German. And I think Lottie will be a very good teacher. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. The best way to learn is to play. <laughs> It is playtime. <laughs> okay. I'm going to teach you German. Who is good at numbers? Me. Look. One, two, three. In German you say eins, zwei, drei. Now it's your turn. <laughs> eins, zwei, drei. Wow. How do I say, hello, I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> hello, ich bin Peppa Pig. <laughs> hello. Ich bin Peppa Pig. <laughs> It is home time and the parents have come to pick up the children. <laughs> That's fantastic, Pepper. I know some German words. Bitte füllen Sie mein Auto mit Kartoffeln. Wow! What does that mean? It means, please fill my car with potatoes. Ah, that's why I could never get any petrol. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Mama, Mama! Hello, Lottie. How was your first day at Playgroup? It was great. I made lots of new friends. Hello, ich bin Peppa Pig. Wow, you can talk German. Yes, I can. Oh, meine kleine Süße. Du bist aber ein schlaues Kind. Welches ist dein Lieblingswort auf Deutsch? Uh, yes. Peppa loves talking. Everybody loves talking. Woodland Club. Today, Pepper and her friends have come to the Woodland Club. Mr. Wolf is in charge. Children, please come to the middle. Mummies and daddies, please stand back and watch. <laughs> Now, children, I know all about living in the woods. I was born in the woods, and I was raised by a family of wolves. Ooh! Today, I will teach you how to look after yourselves out here in the wild. Wow! 
Imagine you're on your own, far from home, no one else around. Oh, sorry. Carry on. No one else around. What do you do if it starts to rain? Get wet. Ah, but what if you don't want to get wet? Go home. But remember, you are far from home. I've got an umbrella. Y yes, all right. But sometimes the only thing to keep you warm and dry in the woods is a shelter. Ooh. It's like a little house. It'll keep out the rain. And it will keep you warm from the wind. You make a shelter using sticks and other stuff found in the woods. Wow! Who wants to try? Me! me, me. Off you go, then. <laughs> Here are some sticks. <laughs> this leaf can be the flag. It's finished. Well done. OK, who would like to test the shelter? I will. Are you warm and cosy in there, Mr Pig? Oh, oh, yes. I like my little house of sticks. Good. Let's see if your little house keeps out the rain. Ah! The water goes straight through the roof. I'm getting wet. <laughs> Did the house keep out the rain? No. Let's see if the house keeps out the wind. I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house down. <gasps> Whoa! Daddy Pig's house is gone. Oh, dear. Maybe the children should have used bricks. A brick house would be good, Mr Pig. But there aren't any bricks to be found in the woods. Only sticks and leaves. But we've tried sticks and leaves. We're going to have another go. First, collect big sticks, like this one. Off you go. <laughs> Here's a big stick. Here's a bigger stick. Here's the biggest stick in the world. Very good. Let's have that big stick here. Lay your sticks along here. Now we need little sticks to go over the roof. <laughs> little sticks. Teeny sticks. Itsy witsy ickle sticks. Use the little sticks like this. <laughs> Is it finished? Nearly. We just need lots and lots of leaves. Leaves! <laughs> lots of leaves. Loads of leaves. Bundles and jumbles of leaves. <laughs> wow, it's a cosy house now. It certainly is. Daddy Pig, please go inside. Um, maybe somebody else should have all the fun of testing it this time. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Are you ready, children? Yes! First, the rain. Is the rain coming in? <laughs> now the wind. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. <gasps> Did you feel the wind? No. The little house is very strong. So that, children, is how you build a shelter in the woods. Hooray! Oh, it's raining. All the grown-ups are getting wet. But Pepper and her friends are lovely and dry in their little house. This is fun! Pepper loves the Woodland Club. Everybody loves the Woodland Club. Danny's pirate bedroom. Pepper is going to Danny Dog's house for the day. Hello. Hello, Danny. Pepper, you're just in time to help. We're doing a bedroom makeover for Danny. That sounds like fun. I'll see you later, Pepper. Bye, Daddy. What is a bedroom makeover? It's like on TV, when they make the room look completely different. Ooh. I'm going to have a pirate bedroom. Aha! I've already got a pirate bed. <laughs> wow! And today we're going to decorate the whole bedroom. On the walls, we are going to paint the sea. On the ceiling, there will be stars. When I sleep, it will be like I'm sailing on the sea. <laughs> ah, yes, the sea. I remember those days. 
free to sail my boat wherever I wanted, under a starry sky, in search of sea monsters. But those days are over. Now I'm back home and I'll never sail the sea again. Captain Dog misses the sea. Right then, let's get this bedroom makeover started. We'll cover the room with sheets. This will stop everything getting paint on it. And to keep paint off our clothes, we'll put on overalls. <laughs> this dark blue paint is for the sky. It's going to be a night sky. Ooh. Mummy Dog paints the ceiling using a roller with a long, long handle. Can we help? Of course. Here are your brushes. Let's do the walls. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, big waves, just like the real sea. I'll do some storm clouds. Can we put the stars on the ceiling? We certainly can. <laughs> oh, the ceiling's too high. Huh, I can't reach. Let's give you some help. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder. What you are! <laughs> the sky is full of stars. And they look even better when the lights are out. Ooh! The stars are glittery! Danny's pirate bedroom is done. It's just like when they do the makeovers on TV. Um... On TV, the person has to open their eyes and say, What a surprise! But you've already seen it all. <laughs> I can pretend I haven't. Good idea, Danny. Yes, let's make it even better by having you step outside the room. Close your eyes. And let's close the door. Are you ready, Danny? Yes, I'm ready. Keep your eyes closed. I will. <laughs> OK, in you come. No peeking. <laughs> now open your eyes. What a surprise! <laughs> <laughs> okay, me hearties. Who is ready to set sail? Me, me. me. Let's climb aboard the ship. <laughs> Where shall we sail to, Captain Danny? Ha ha! Let's look for sea monsters. Sea monsters, you say? That sounds like a grand adventure to me. Yo ho ho, yo ho ho, a pirate ship on a stormy sea. That's my favorite place to be. Yo ho ho, yo ho ho, a pirate ship on a stormy sea. That's my favorite place to be. We are sailing on the sea. Yes, what could be better? Sail in the sea and staying at home. This is the best pirate bedroom ever. Aha! <laughs> Danny loves pirate bedrooms. Everyone loves pirate bedrooms. <laughs> Weather station. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup today. <laughs> Children, today we are going to learn about the weather. Ooh. There are all kinds of weather. Sun, rain, wind, snow. I like sunny weather the best. Then we can go to the beach. Oh, yes, Mandy. A sunny day at the beach sounds very nice. I like it when it's windy. Then you can fly a kite. <laughs> yes, it needs to be windy to fly a kite. Anyone else? Madame Gazelle. Yes, Penny Polar Bear? I like snow the best. Then we can go sledding. Go! Penny Polar Bear loves snow. Go! Snow is such fun! I like rain. And what do you like about rain, Peppa? Rain makes muddy puddles for jumping up and down in. <laughs> yes, we do need rain for puddles. Now, as the weather happens outside, today's lesson will be outside. <laughs> Children, look what I've made. What is it? It is our very own weather station.
station. Wow! What does it do? I will show you. At the moment, the sun is shining in the sky. Mandy Mouse, please turn the arrow to point at the sun. OK. The weather station is showing it is sunny. Ooh. And this thermometer has coloured liquid that goes up and down and tells us exactly how sunny and hot it is today. Wow! So, how hot does this thermo thingy say it is? It says today is, um, nice and warm. It's getting windy. Really windy. Can I move the arrow? Of course, Benny. The weather station is showing it is windy. And to see exactly how windy it is, we have this. It is made of sticks and old plastic cups. Ooh. So how windy does it say it is? It says it is, um, very windy. Ah! It started to rain! We're getting uh, wet! Don't worry, children. I have brought the big umbrella. The big umbrella! <laughs> that is a big umbrella. Now we can stay nice and dry and watch the rain. Madame Gazelle, can I move the arrow this time? Of course, Peppa. The weather station is showing rain. Could somebody hold the umbrella for me, please? Thank you. Now we will use this rain bottle. It is made out of an old plastic bottle cut in half. Then put back together like this. There. The rain bottle is filling up with water. Ooh. The rain has stopped. Look, we can see how much it has rained. So how much has it rained? The bottle is full. So that means it has rained, um, a lot. And lots of rain means lots of... Muddy puddles! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a good day for our weather station. We've had sun, wind and rain. But we didn't have snow. Oh, I think it would be too much to wish for snow as well. Oh, what's that? Snow! <laughs> it has started to snow. That is unbelievable! I'll move the arrow. The weather station is showing snow. I love sun, wind, rain and snow. Peppa <laughs> loves the weather. <laughs> Everyone loves the weather. <laughs> roller disco! Peppa and her friends are going to a roller disco. <laughs> I love roller discos. Me too. Why should I Madame Gazelle is in charge. Keep going round and round in a circle, children. <laughs> Peppa and George have their roller skates on. Would you like me to walk around with you both, holding your hands? No, Mummy. We are good at skating. <laughs> Peppa and George love roller skating. <laughs> Whoa! Are you OK, Emily? Yes, Daddy. I'm fine. Simon Squirrel and Belinda Bear are doing the music. They are big clap, children. Clap, clap. <sighs> I wish we could play something grown up. Clap, Belinda clap, Bear clap. is nearly ten years old. What should we play next? The wheels on the bus, please. Oh, I can't seem to find wheels on the bus. Look, there it is. Ah, uh, thank you, Madam Gazelle. Wheels on the bus go. <sighs> Wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. Hello, Mummy and Daddy. Hello, Hello Peppa. Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Emily. This is fun. It's the first time I've been to one of these things. How many times do the children go round? Uh, hundreds and hundreds of times. Ah. <laughs> the children love going around in a circle hundreds and hundreds of times. Hello, Daddy! Hello, Peppa! Hello, George! Here is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Come on, let's skate together! OK! 
<laughs> Freddy Fox is going the wrong way. Look out, Pedro! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone goes the same way so you don't bump into each other. Hello, Daddy! <laughs> Hello, Peppa! <laughs> Hello, Mommy! Hello, Randy! Hello, Daddy! Hello, Emily! Hello, Daddy! Hello, Molly! <laughs> Hello, Mommy! <laughs> Hello again, Peppa! Hello again, Daddy! <laughs> Hello again, Emily. What a surprise seeing you here. <laughs> All day long. Now that baby music is finished, we can play something good. I've got just the one. Can we have one potato, two potato, please? <sighs> one potato, two potato, three potato, four. Five potato, six potato, seven potato, more. We have to be quicker with our own music potato, next time. Potato, yes. I've got it ready Five to play. Potato, six potato, seven potato, more. Wow! Daddy's going backwards. Five potato, six potato, How do you do that? More. I don't know. Six potato, seven potato, more. Quick, it's over. Put our record on. Yeah, time for some real music. Pepper and her friends do not know how to skate to this music. Oh my word! This is my all time favorite song! Skate on down <laughs> to <the> Disco <laughs> Town! Nothing deserves roller skates or flashing! Skate on down to the Disco wow. Town! That's incredible! <laughs> Madame Gazelle is very good at disco roller skating. Wow! I wish I could do that! Me too! Hello, Emily. Hello, Mummy. Hello, Mandy. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Molly. Hello, Mummy. Hello again, Peppa. This is the best roller disco ever. Peppa loves roller disco. Everyone loves roller disco. Guinea pigs. Peppa is at playgroup with her friends. Today, children, I would like to show you my pet guinea pigs. Aww! They're so cute! This is Ginger. He is very clever. Aww! And this is Brian. He is very sensitive. Aww! Now, children, I am going on holiday next week. And I need to find someone to look after Ginger and Brian. Me, me, me! It's a bit of work, and you will need to take them home. Me, me! I will do it! Are you sure, Peppa? Yes, I love animals! <laughs> Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> it is home time. Mummy, Mummy! Look what I've got! Oh, what's that? Ginger and Brian. Peppa has very kindly agreed to look after my guinea pigs for the week. I see. Everything you need is here. Right. I suppose they're easy to look after. Oh, yes. This chart shows when they need feeding and when they are to be brushed. Brushed? Yes, they like to be brushed at these times each day. I see. And one brush in the middle of the night. Anything else? They do get lonely, so you must sleep in the same room as them. OK. Don't worry, Madam Gazelle. We will look after Ginger and Brian. Thank you, Peppa. Bye-bye. Bye. Ginger and Brian have arrived at Peppa's home. <laughs> Hello. This is Madam Gazelle. I forgot. You need hay for the guinea pigs. But you can buy it from the pet shop. OK. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. Goodbye. What's that? Um, the guinea pigs need hay from the pet shop. Right. Who wants to come to the pet shop? Me! Me! <laughs> See you later. This is the pet shop. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Miss Rabbit. I'm looking after Madame Gazelle's guinea pigs. Oh, yes. 
Ginger is the clever one and Brian is sensitive. Apparently we need hay. Well, there is standard hay, premium hay or super premium deluxe hay. Super premium deluxe hay? Yes, it is more money, but that's the one Ginger and Brian like. It is bedtime at Peppa's house. Are you happy, Ginger and Brian? They have had food, water and very expensive hay. I don't think they could be any happier. Madame Gazelle said they get lonely. <coughs> yes, so I will be sleeping here to make sure they don't get lonely. And to brush them in the night time? Yes, Peppa. Brush them in the night time. Night, night. It is the middle of the night. Ooh. Hello, Daddy Pig here. Hello, this is Madame Gazelle. I just thought I would ring to remind you about the brushing. Yes, we're brushing them now. What? Who? Oh, oh yes. Ah, oh, very good. I do hope they are no trouble. They're no trouble oh. at all. <laughs> Pepper and George have been looking after Ginger and Brian all week. They are so adorable. Here is Madame Gazelle. Madame Gazelle, you're back from your holiday. Yes, I came straight from the airport. How are Ginger and Brian? They are very happy. Oh, good. Thank you, Pepper, for all your hard work looking after them. It was easy. Would you like to look after them the next time I go on holiday? Ooh. Uh, um, yes, please. <laughs> Peppa loves looking after guinea pigs. Everyone loves looking after guinea pigs. <laughs> Grandpa's rock garden. Peppa and George are spending the day at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Hello, my little ones. Look, Granny. This is my fairy princess. Oh, hello, Fairy Princess. Granny, where is Grandpa Pig? He's down in the garden making something. <laughs> Come and see. <laughs> Grandpa Pig! Grandpa Pig! Hello, Pepper and George. What are you doing? I'm making a rock garden. What is a rock garden? It is a tiny version of a mountain landscape made of just rocks and flowers. Ooh. Nothing is here that wouldn't be on a real mountain. My fairy princess could live there. Oh, that wasn't quite the sort of thing I had in mind. There. Uh, maybe that's not. And Mr. Dinosaur could live there too. <laughs> oh, okay. The fairy and the dinosaur can live in the rock garden just for today. Now, would you all like to help me find some more rocks? Yes, please! <laughs> <laughs> found one! <laughs> I've found a rock too! I say, you're a nice looking rock! Look, Grandpa! We found rocks! Very good! And look what I found! One of the most unusual rocks I've ever seen! It's all looking very pretty. What else can we add? How about a toy car for the fairy to drive? Uh, maybe not. Or a unicorn for the fairy to ride? Yes, a unicorn would be lovely. No, no, no. I've allowed the castle and the dinosaur, but from now on, just real rocks and flowers. OK, but it could do with some bigger flowers, don't you think? Those look a bit titchy. Well, uh, it's quite early in the year for big flowers. <coughs> Here is Mr Fox in his van. Hello, Granny Pig. What can I sell you today? Well, we do need some flowers for Grandpa's rock garden. Flowers, you say? Lucky I dropped by. I've got flowers like you've never seen before. Here you go. Ooh. Lovely. Do they need any special looking after? No, they're easy to look after. They're plastic. Oh, I don't think Grandpa would like that. He wants real flowers. These are better than real. You can bury them and 
Dig them up in a thousand years and they'll be as good as new. Amazing. And they sing. Wow. Look, Grandpa, we got you flowers. Wow, that big for this time of year. Well done. They will last forever because they are plastic. <laughs> Oh. Toy castles, dinosaurs, plastic flowers. At least the rocks are real. Maybe I should move this very nice rock I found to the top. Grandpa, your rock is moving. Ah! It's Tiddles. Grandpa's rock is Tiddles the tortoise. Oh, my goodness. Tiddles. Tiddles. Here is Dr. Hamster. Have you seen my Tiddles? He's run away again. Yes, Grandpa found him. There you are, you naughty little pickle. Thank you, Grandpa Pig. Uh, you're most welcome. Oh, what a lovely rock garden. Yes, it is rather good. And I suppose it doesn't have to be exactly like a real mountain. Grandpa, we didn't show you the best bit. Peppa loves rock gardens. Everyone loves rock gardens. 